A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 17th July. On the front page you have Center Assam Move Supreme Court for Sample Reverification of NRC. So they seek 20% recount in border districts and an extension of July 31 deadline for the final list of NRC. So here you, know, you can see, so it will be a sample uh, re-verification which should be done. So 20% sample re-verification of the names should be conducted in districts bordering Bangladesh and 10% sample verification in remaining districts is what the central government and state of government of Assam is seeking. So it's a Supreme Court monitored exercise, the NRC updation in Assam. So that is why uh, Supreme Court has set a deadline of 31st July 2019 when the final NRC would be published. So that extension of that deadline has been sought by the center and state as well. Then this is don't try to lay down the limits of our jurisdiction, Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court has uh, is supposed to rule on the plea against Karnataka speaker today. So in that context, the Supreme Court has stated because the Karnataka political crisis which we have seen in that the speaker says that they have the jurisdiction over deciding over resignations. The MLAs who have resigned, they say that they are being, uh, you know, their resignations are not being accepted. It has been delayed. Also, the speaker says that their disqualification proceedings are also going on. So that also has to be looked into. And what should be looked at first? The resignation or disqualification against the same MLA. So all these, the speaker says, we, I have your discretion in a way. And the uh, Supreme Court is now saying that don't try to lay down limits to our jurisdiction. So both are constitutional bodies and both have been constitutionally given powers. So it's an important issue. Then this is relief for airlines as Pakistan opens its airspace after six months. So we had seen Pakistan had extended the uh, the restriction on its airspace because Indian aircrafts could not move over Pakistan territory to move further towards Europe and other nations. So that's why now we have seen Pakistan after six months. It was after the Balakot airstrike that Pakistan closed its airspace for India. But now after six months, it has opened up. And this is ICJ to deliver verdict on Jadhav today. So of course this is going to come. When it comes, it will be more in news. So this is regarding Kulbhushan Jadhav case, who has been called by Pakistan a spy working for India in Balochistan and Pakistan. And he has been arrested by them. And the case is before International Court of Justice behaved. Then this is center annals test to recruit postmen. So there was an examination to be conducted by the postal department for recruitment of postmen. But then in this examination, regional languages were dropped, especially Tamil. So as the medium of examination, so there were protests by Rajya Sabha members from Tamil Nadu. And the government has now announced that the test will be, uh, has been cancelled. On page 7 you have, Banks disburse just 30% loans this Kharif season. So, sowing for this year's Kharif season is already in progress, but banks in Maharashtra have achieved only 30% of the target of Kharif crop loan disbursement. So, the reasons for this is said to be the delay in sowing season. Crop loan waiver could be the reasons as such. On page 8, you have BDL going strong with missile orders for 8,000 crores. So this is Bharat Dynamics Limited. It is celebrating its golden jubilee this year. And it has orders worth 8,000 crores for making various missiles from the armed, for the armed forces, which will be delivered within the next 5-6 years. So this is regarding a public sector undertaking, a defense public sector undertaking, Bharat Dynamics Limited. On page 9, you have heavy rains in Nepal causes floods in Bihar over 25 lakh hit so the rivers which flow through Nepal enter into Bihar so these are Kosi, Bagmati, Mahananda rivers they are uh, you know, they are flowing over danger mark so chief minister has raised the concerns too and this is defense ministry suspends dealing with Swiss firm so this is regarding Pilatus of Switzerland. So this uh, the defense ministry has suspended business dealings with Pilatus for a year over allegations of corruption in the supply of basic trainer aircraft for the Indian Air Force. 
below you have monitor biomedical waste management ngt so national green tribunal has asked states to set up common treatment and disposal facilities if they have not done so yet and this is farmers group wants drought norms revised so the all india kisan sabha has demanded the center scrap the manual for drought management 2016 which had changed the way that droughts are declared and circumstances under which center help can be sought by affected states so this is a demand of farmers groups on the editorial page the first editorial is chinese check so this is regarding the growth model of china so it says china's famed model of growth is under pressure due to fall in exports and investments so this was in news yesterday to how chinese fdi uh, how chinese growth rate has significantly reduced so it's on a downward trend now because of uh, you know even the in china us trade war as well as uh, global slowdown and this is one for the ages so this is regarding sports in tennis it says alongside federer and nadal djokovic is ensuring tennis is at its competitive best the lead article making sense of karnataka's politics so this says that castes and communities are key players where gain to one community once community becomes an overriding consideration so how castes communities come into play in politics is discussed here means when one community gains it becomes an overriding consideration you know it becomes uh, you know, uh, somebody else one one person's gain somebody else's loss and this is the wheel to a low carbon transport system so it says the this rests on accessing public service choosing rapid transit over car driving and supporting electric vehicle transit so public public transport as such has to be promoted and has to be facilitated as well as electric vehicles should be pushed so that we achieve a low carbon transport system then the on the opet page you have the many hurdles in proving citizenship so this is regarding the nrc exercise in assam the article says the brunt of the systemic problems of nrc is been borne by the poorest so the poorest don't know how to deal with it like if their name doesn't come in the nrc what steps they need to take so the problems which they face are been highlighted here and this is rethinking kusum so it says if designed better and implemented effectively the kusum scheme which is uh, uh, kisan urja suraksha evam uthan mahabhiyan so it says this can transform the irrigation economy so it uh, aims to provide energy sufficiency and sustainable irrigation across the access to farmers as such well. this is the kusum scheme so solar pumps are also been deployed for irrigation purposes access is provided to that under the scheme then this is tapping the potential of communities to end aids so success is achieved when policies and programs focus on people's people not diseases is what this article highlights then on page 12 you have central universities bill cleared so the rajya sabha has passed the central universities amendment bill 2019 for establishing central university and tribal university in andhra pradesh then this is 321 protected monument sites encroached upon government so no study to assess uh, the impact of illegal constructions as such the minister says but it says over 300 321 centrally protected monuments and sites including world heritage sites across the country are under encroachment on page 13 you have Rajya Sabha nod for changes to airports regulator bill so Rajya Sabha has passed a bill to amend airports economic regulatory authority of india act 2018 uh, so this act has been amended whereby the airport authority would not determine tariff structures in case of privatized airport, airports so this is so and this is sewer deaths center calls for quick response units so stress is on trained cleaners and protective care so this is what the union housing and urban affairs minister has asked all states and union territories to do to set up emergency response sanitation units ersus which would uh, include trainer trained cleaners wearing protective gears 
then there's no important news on the international page and on business page two here you have suzlon defaults on 172 million bo dollar bonds so this is india's suzlon energy which is a wind power generating company so it the firm has asked bondholders to wait for settlement with banks now so stress is widening and across india's credit market suzlon energy has also now defaulted so those are the important headlines there's nothing important here and the last page covers sports news for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com and you can even download the pdf of news there thank you